Hi everyone. What you see on your screen right now is the Do More Simulator, um, which is showing you the outputs here and the sequence of the lights flashing. Now you would think that there would be a lot of ladder logic involved in this, but there really isn't. There's only four rungs of information. And what we're going to talk about today is how do you use um, indirect addressing in order to make programs faster and easier to read and understand. So this will cut your programming time literally down to hardly anything at all. So, but first we have to try to understand exactly what, what the uh, indirect addressing is. So if we look at this diagram here and we do a move instruction, we'll move uh, indirectly V0 to the output V100. So there's our output right here and here's V0. And what this really means is that V0 is the pointer pointing to the location of the uh, V memory locations. So as this moves from 1 to 6 it moves the corresponding output to the actual output channel. So that basically is how indirect addressing really works. So looking back at our lights, you see here again it's just a sequence. So let's call up the actual program, look at the ladder. The first line here actually says it's always on and we move the source code into the destination. So our source again is V0, same as our other example, and the output is V100. Then what we do is we have to take care of this V0 because it has to always be between our, our elements, our data points. And you can see here um, V1 down to 20 is seen on the screen. In fact, we actually have, as this states here, 37 data points. So our number can be between 1 and 37 and then it resets again. So that's basically what these next two lines do of code. So we're saying here uh, we're doing on time, so it's 100 millisecond pulse, and it's just incrementing my pointer, which is V0. Then I compare V0 to the number 37. If it's bigger, then I move one back into V0 or reset it, or if it's equal to zero, um, I reset it. So there's my first three lines. My last line is just taking my output, um, source which is V100 and actually moving it to the individual bits and we do that with the uh, MAPIO uh, instruction within the uh, do more PLC. You could also move the whole channel if you want um, if the controller uh, allows that. So you see four rungs will allow you to do sequencing of uh, just about anything. The beauty of this is when you actually come uh, back to uh, change the sequence. Instead of changing all of this code, you're only changing data points within the structure here. So it becomes very straightforward, very easy to do. And right now what we've done is set outputs. You could also do the same thing by using compares on predetermined uh, tables and moving the outputs then. And if you go to the website, you will note, you will see examples of all of these. The notes are in the links below. Thanks for watching and happy programming.